My name is Kent Weir, and today I'm here to talk to you about Azure App Service. I have a Logic App demo for you today where we will perform a search against Twitter using the Twitter connector, and we will then take the first result of that result set and upload it to Dropbox using the Dropbox connector. This and other videos can be found on my blog, middlewareinthecloud.com. So let's get into it. I should also let you know that this demo that I'm about to walk you through is part of the documentation scenarios that were included in the preview launch. So you can go ahead and find this on the Microsoft Azure documentation site. So I'm over at the Azure portal site, and now this is the preview site, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new Logic app. And I can go ahead and do that, clicking on new. I could find it here, but I'll go through the, the longer route as I've already been there before. So I click on web and mobile, and then I can click on logic app. I need to pro provide a name for this particular logic app. For this case, I will just call it Twitter Dropbox Logic App. Now I already have my app service plan and resource group set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and leverage those existing assets. What we will find is after a minute or so, we will now have our Logic app available to us where we can now start to drag and drop these components. We now have our Logic app shell created and we can go ahead and launch the canvas by clicking on triggers and actions. So here's my canvas and on the right hand side we'll see some connectors that have already been provisioned within my resource group. Now if you wanted to find these particular connectors you can click on the visit this marketplace link and then at this point you can go ahead and type Twitter and you can also go ahead and, and type Dropbox and then you'll be able to add them into your resource group. So I'm just going to hit back because I already have them here. So once I have the connectors available within my resource group. I have the ability to click on them and they will be added over in my canvas. So I'm going to click on the recurrence and what this is going to do is this is really going to act as a polar. Now I am on a lower tier so I'm restricted in terms of how frequently I can run this but I also have the ability to run it manually which will meet the needs of this particular demo. Now one thing you want to do is whenever you're done configuring one of these API apps or connectors, you'll want to click the green check mark here, which then allows you to add another connector or a and now it's going to be configured. I need to authorize this connector. So I'm going to go ahead and click the authorize button. And once again, I'm already logged into Twitter, as you can see up here. So I'll, we'll just click authorize this app. And at this point, it's just doing some provisioning for me. So in this particular case, we're going to search for tweets. I'm going to search for the hashtag MSBTS, which is the BizTalk hashtag on Twitter. And now we have the different types of properties that are going to be available to us, whether it's text of a tweet, a retweet count, who it was tweeted by, when it was created, and a tweet ID. The next thing we're going to want to do is take a look at the Dropbox connector and add it over in our canvas. So I'm going to click on Dropbox and it'll show up over here. Once again, need to go through an authorization process, which is pretty quick. This is all happening in real time. And in this particular case, we want to upload a file. Now, in this case, we're going to go ahead and just call it tweets.txt. From a content perspective, we now have the ability to retrieve data that was being that's being exposed from our Twitter connector. So in this case, I do want tweet text so I can go ahead and select this and what it's going to do is it's going to actually get the very first tweet of essentially a tweet collection and we're going to use that and we're going to upload it to Dropbox using the connector. Now for the purpose of this demo I'm going to set this to true just as I might want to run this multiple times and see that file gets updated within Dropbox. Now, before I go ahead and run this, let's go ahead and look at my Dropbox. So this is a newly provisioned Dropbox instance for me. 
and as you can see we do not have a tweets.txt message within my Dropbox. So let's go back over to the Azure Preview Portal. I'm going to go ahead and save this Logic app. If we want to take a look at the code, we certainly have the ability to do that. This is all going to be exposed in JSON. Uh, for the purpose of what we're trying to achieve here, the designer is going to be satisfactory. Let's now head back to Browse. And we can find our Twitter Dropbox Logic, Logic app. And in this case, we now have the ability to run this on demand. So I'm going to go ahead and click Run Now. And then what we're going to see is the status of our process being running below within this window. Now, interestingly enough, we can see that tweets.txt was added to our Dropbox. Let's now head back over to Dropbox. We can now see tweets.txt show up. And in this case, we have a tweet. It's a retweet of BizTalk360 talking about a huge shout out to sponsors of the BizTalk Summit. Pretty cool. So this was the, a very introductory post on a, lo a Logic App demonstration. But as you can see, we have the ability to move very quickly. This only took a couple minutes and we're able to do something pretty powerful that we wouldn't have been able to do very easily in the BizTalk server platform. All in all, I think this is pretty cool technology. It's obviously early. This is based upon the preview bits. But we're, we're able to do some pretty interesting things in just a, a matter of a few mouse clicks and configuration. So once again, my name's Kent Weir. I blog at middlewareinthecloud.com. And this was the Logic App demo using Twitter and Dropbox. Thanks.